We are joined for this segment honoring our uh, nation's independence by the declaration of a very important new independent source of information on national security policy and so much more. And the man who is going to make all of this possible uh, on behalf of Andrew Breitbart uh, is Peter Schweitzer, the editor-in-chief of the marvelous new web platform, the portal known as Big Peace. Peter Schweitzer, you are one great American, and it is a privilege to be able to work with you on this project. Thank you for joining us here at Secure Freedom Radio to tell us a little bit about what you have in mind for Big Peace. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Frank. It's uh, going to be wonderful to be working with you as well. Um, this is an exciting opportunity, I think, on a lot of fronts. Uh, and, and one of the main reasons I think it's so important is that our information when it comes on national security and defense issues, um, you know, I think has, has uh, kind of gotten short shrift in recent years. Uh, obviously, a lot of concerns about domestic issues, but there are very real threats in the world, and there's a very real need for people to have an independent source of information. And that's what Big Peace uh, is going to be all about. And we've got a great collection of uh, contributors that are going to help us uh, really bring forth information that's uh, that's being ignored and neglected today by uh, by the mainstream media. Yeah. Now, BigPeace.com is one of several of these portals that uh, Andrew Breitbart, who of course is uh, best known, I guess, for his uh, marvelous uh, rollout of the. Um, revelations that ultimately have completely destroyed uh, what was left of the reputation of ACORN, uh, the uh, community organizer team that uh, Barack Obama uh, was associated with for many years. Um, What is it about these portals and the sort of um, unique vehicle that they represent that may really be a transformative uh, capability for those of us who care about national security? Well, no, I think that's a great point, and I think what Andrew's been so good at doing is he is taking sort of the uh, the uh, blogging or web page platform and really turned it into a news breaking. Um, entity. A lot of people are familiar, of course, with the Drudge Report, and 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 uh, you know that has broken stories in the past. With but which he's really been associated happened, for a long time. That's course. exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. What he's doing with uh, you know big government and big journalism and big peace. Uh, is is uh, providing in a sense a news service uh, to individuals. It's going to be breaking news. Our intention with Big Peace is not going to be simply to provide some superior analysis to what's going on in the world. It's going to be actually making people aware of stories, uh, providing videos and other content that they're not going to see anywhere else. And I think this is a vital uh, service because, you know, the, the old model when, 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 uh, when I was sort of growing up and watching the news was, you know, you had uh, CNN or the established media outlets uh, providing national security information, and it was just kind of assumed uh, you had to accept what you were being told. Well, you know, with the diffusion of technology, uh, with uh, entrepreneurs like Andrew um, fueling this, uh, we have a real opportunity to create parallel news sources, parallel news wires, as it were, that's going to report on this information, and we're going to doing, uh, be doing it, Frank, in the way that you've done it, in a way that affirms America, affirms the notion of advancing freedom, uh, and recognizing uh, the importance of those issues as it relates to our national security and to the issue of peace. Yeah, well, thank you for that uh, compliment, Peter. You, you have done more probably than anybody I know to help really immortalize, in a way, um, some of these principles with uh, several of your absolutely stupendously important books like Victory, the Reagan administration's secret strategy that hastened the collapse of the Soviet Union, a personal favorite of mine, Reagan's War, the epic story of his 40-year struggle and the final triumph over communism, which became uh, a major, very, very important film uh, in the face of evil. Uh, And not least your most recent one, which, by the way, I I was visiting with Michelle Bachman last week, and she had it uh, sitting prominently in her office, and she said it is the single best book on the subject, uh, namely Architects of Ruin, How a Gang of Radical Activists and Liberal Politicians Destroyed Trillions of Dollars in Wealth in the Pursuit of Social Justice. This is an incredible background to be bringing to bear as editor-in-chief of Big Peace. And I guess in a minute, can you just briefly describe sort of your editorial vision for this kind of product um, at this particular moment in our history? 
Well, I think we've got a couple of key missions uh, with Big Piece. Uh, number one uh, is, is to provide a source of independent news. There are simply things that the uh, established organs of the media, whether it's the New York Times or ABC News, are simply not going to tell you, or they're going to tell you in a way uh, that really slants things um, uh, in, in the way that it's reported. So we're going to provide an independent source of news. Number two, we're going to provide uh, analytical tools that are accessible to people. I mean, you know, Frank, you and I have talked about this in the past. You have some wonderful analysis that's produced, but oftentimes that comes in the form of 35 or 40 page uh, report that's just not accessible to a lot of people. We want to provide accessible analysis. And I will say that we are never going to compromise on truth, and we are never going to compromise on our commitment to American values and the, the notion of advancing freedom. Yeah. Uh, and those are going to be the things that guide us, and we've got a wonderful team. We've got people that have, uh, uh, you know, been in combat on the front lines. We've got people in Washington that have done uh, amazing analytical work. Um, so we've got, we cover the whole sphere uh, of, of national security and foreign policy issues. Yeah. And it seems to me the other piece of this, Peter, which is sort of implied in what you've just said, but that, that is as important as anything is we're interested in having an impact on policy. We're interested yeah. in actually you know, not simply analyzing or commenting or, or even reporting, but actually helping the American people uh, the electorate that ultimately is responsible for our government and its policies be informed, be empowered, and be engaged, I guess is my way of thinking of it, in helping the national security, and we mean that in the broadest sense of the word as we treat it here at Secure Freedom Radio, to to be as sound and as um, robust as we know it needs to be based on the kind of historical uh, accounting that you've been doing. Absolutely. I mean, that's a great point, Frank. Uh, you know, if you look uh, at the current uh, uh, election that's taking place, um, you know, the focus is almost completely on domestic economic issues, and no one wants to minimize those. Obviously, we've got challenges in those areas, but there are fundamental security issues that are just simply not being debated and being discussed. And, and you know, you at the center and other organizations uh, are making uh, a very aggressive effort in that area. What we hope with Big Peace is to make that information accessible uh, to the public so they can see who is doing what, they can act on that information, uh, and they can help by themselves individually make America safer in a very hostile world. Yeah, and, and needless to say, again, based on the kind of historical perspective that you bring to this, Peter Schweitzer, um, I think it, it's fair to say this is a moment where that is as important as ever in the nation's history. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. There's no question about it. You know, people want to think that, you know, when the Cold War was, is over or 9-11 uh, fades from memory, um, that, you know, we don't really face as many challenges, that those threats are fading. Um, you know, history teaches us that that's simply not the case. You have periods of time when it's, uh, when it's more visible, it's, it's, it's more easy to identify, uh, uh, and then you have times when it sort of slips into the background. But, but that's the time when the, uh, when the thunderstorms uh, are, are beginning to build and the yeah. clouds are be- be- beginning to build on the horizon. And, and there's no question uh, we are faced in a struggle uh, with uh, an enemy that wants to destroy us. That enemy has not gotten away. They have friends uh, uh, overseas. They have friends in the United States. And Big we Peace is going to be uh, be mobilizing. We're going to have to leave it at this, but Big Peace is mobilizing to help counter them. And with your leadership, Peter Schweitzer, I know it will make a huge difference. Thank you. Thank you for letting thank us join you. you, and thank you for uh, helping Secure Freedom Radio be, a, I hope, an important part of Big Peace's success. 